Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, we have a very bad news to you and uh, very good news to the Democrat. Um, today we are going to uh, do a little study uh, to the news, which is really a disaster to uh, Trump. I think he's just he's lo he just lost the election already. You know? I mean, if I am him, I will drop. I will drop and I will go out. Actually, if I am him, I will ask refugee in uh, Venezuela. I know I will, I will go became a refugee in um, uh, Mexico. Actually, I can help him and I can find him uh, one bedroom studio uh, in the Middle East. You know, just to hide until things cool down him and his kids. You know, because we found that he is committing bigger crimes him and his family. Uh, you see. Uh, uh, we discovered lately that his kids are eating beans, which is against the regulation of California because beans cause global warming. You fart a lot. And not only that, now we have something really big and something really huge. So, you know, I mean, for how long we will let those people take over? I mean, come on. It's time to take them down. All right? It's time. I mean, you know, like everybody go up, 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 and then he fell down. I mean, nothing. That's it. This is the this is the the let us say uh, the rule of life. You know, even the eagle, he fly, 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 and then in the top, and then he fell down. That's it. You die. You know. So Trump today is like gone. That's it. The the Democrat they destroyed him, uh, they exposed him for his crimes, and he got busted. So let us see. Uh, I can. I mean, I'm sure many of you did notice already. I'm being sarcastic, right? Uh, okay, so let us see what uh, Trump uh, uh, and his kids they did, and actually, uh, the, the reason I'm talking about this, just to show you how a human being he think, how a human being is, you know, evolve, how, how he react for things, how he say things, why he say things, why he do things. So we are going to use uh, a video clip of a person. His name is Mike Dice. And we will need to give him a credit for his video. This is his account. Mark Dice, he had 1.6 million subscribers. He went in the heart of the Democratic Party land. You know, this is here in San Diego. This is California. And he exposed Trump and his kids for their crimes. And you will not believe it, the reaction of the Democrat. Let us hear what happened. And how in the world we allow such a thing to happen? How in the world Trump kids are not in jail by now? I mean, corruption is so clear. The police, the Department of Justice is taking side. If I am the one who do the same as Trump kids they did, I will be in jail a long time ago. Let us see what they did. You might have seen the Donald Trump kids are big hunters. They go on these oh, hunting yes. trips just for fun and yes. kill all these poor animals. So yeah. now just getting people's reactions to Donald Trump's kids now killing the Triceratops in Africa on yeah. uh, hunting expeditions. Okay, so honestly, my opinion is I think they're just getting away with a lot for the simple fact that they're Donald Trump's children. Would an ordinary person be able to get away with killing a Triceratops or is the Donald Trump's kids just being able to get away with that because they're Donald Trump's kids? I think they're getting away with it because they're Donald Trump's kids and I think anybody else would just get in trouble and they're honestly just, I don't know, with jail animal, time. animal rights activists? Yeah, they'll they'll pay a fine for it and they'll, they'll serve their time in jail and... For killing the Triceratops. I think it's an endangered yeah. species in some countries, so yeah. it makes it even worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I agree. All right, thank you very much. We want to know how many stars are on this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, do you see how... I mean, do you see the crime? I mean, are you with me? Donald Trump kids are behind killing a kind of dinosaur. A creature was exist millions of years ago, according to some scientists. And the second you say Donald Trump kids, they did that, they say, yeah, sure, you know, they should not get away with this. I, I want to hear it again, just hold on. I mean, this is, this is something. Intelligence is 
is a gift. Stupidity is a bigger gift. Your hate is something unique. Uh, let us see here, hold on. Oh. The Donald Trump kids are big hunters. They go on these oh, hunting yes. trips just for fun and yes. kill all these poor animals. So yeah. now, just getting people's- Did you see how she say, yeah, like, I mean, did you, did you hear it? D did you hear how the yeah is coming? I mean, the yeah is coming all the way from her toes, not from her heart. Like, she gets so excited, like, yeah, yeah, like, what? Yeah, like, I mean, this kind of yeah, you don't hear it normally from normal people. This is a serious yeah, like, yeah, like, as long as you're attacking Donald Trump, I mean, who cares what you say? We agree. Donald Trump, they killed his kids, they killed the dinosaur. Like, hello? So, yeah, and the yeah, like, yeah. Trump kids are big hunters. They go on these oh, hunting yes. trips just for fun and yes. kill all these poor animals. So yeah. now, just getting people's reactions to Donald Trump's kids now killing the Triceratops in Africa. Yeah. Um, hunting yeah. And look at the, at the one who came in the back. <laughs> this is California. <laughs> Everybody in the bye-bye. Everybody is high. <laughs> So let us analyze the news and see why the Trump he just lost the election. I mean, we have to be serious now. They killed this. I mean, come on. I'm really disappointed, you know? I mean, why the children of Trump, they are doing this? Uh, kill chicken. They kill turkey. Why you are doing this? They are even going after dinosaur. How in the world we can vote for this guy? And their father, what he say? He called he he, he called Ivanka. He say, hey, Ivanka, how many uh, uh, how many dinosaur you killed today? Hey, daddy, I killed twenty dinosaur. Oh, daughter, I'm so happy. We can we can put we can put them in the in the in Trump Tower, so we can get more customers. What's wrong with those people? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, oh no, yeah. Ha, ha, yeah. Hmm. So now, what do you think we should do with, uh, with the Trump kids after we discover that they are the one who killed? I mean, those are the one who vote for Joe Biden. You know, when you see young people in the street, you are, you are thinking of, uh, you know, education. You know, we are in the age of computer, internet, uh, schools is available for everybody. Government even feed you in school in USA. You send your child to the school, he eat there. Not like us, you know, in the Middle East. The parents, they suffer to send you to, 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 to school. Here, they send a bus to pick up your son. Here they give you milk to go to school. They feed you. And then what we get? We get this. Why? Because the school is not a school. This is telling you how much corrupt the education system in a state called California. If you go right now to Amazon, if you want to buy anything, 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 even if you want to buy a dinosaur, <laughs> you will see an endless list of regulation of California government. This dinosaur can cause cancer. Anything you want to buy in California, if you want to buy a chair, it can cause cancer. If you want to buy a bed, it can cause cancer. If you want to buy any anything, just name it, anything, it causes cancer. There's a warning and there's regulation. And they are too much protective to their children to the point they think dinosaur is killed by Trump kids. I mean, do you see how much protection is working? And obviously, I mean, this is true. I mean, if it's not true, why she is agreeing? You tell me. She agreed with it. You know, she, she agreed. This is bigger crime. I mean, this is disgusting.
The Donald Trump kids are big hunters. They go on these oh, hunting yes. trips just for fun. And, and look, he said they are big hunters, and right away she said, oh, yes, like how in the world? We never saw those guys going hunting anywhere. I don't think any of them, he hunted me even a chicken. <laughs> I just, oh, yes, oh, yes. Uh, Oh yes! <laughs> I will not be surprised if YouTube they flag my account and say this is against our guideline. Yeah, because you know this is who this is who they are. Those are the one who work in YouTube. Look at them. Hmm. Oh yes. You say Islam is false. Oh, this is against our regulation. A Muslim he posts a. A video about cutting behead, beheading somebody, it's not against the regulation. A woman, she is getting naked in the beach. I reported, I reported the video. She is totally naked. I mean, and there's kids. They didn't even have like age restriction. It is not against. They did not take it down. My video, anything I say, they take my video down. Anything. But I will go back a little bit. Because things was even more... Or, uh, <clears throat> okay, look at this one here. Let us hear this conversation. Tell Donald Trump something about your tampons. What would you say to him? <laughs> They're definitely a necessity. They're not uh, something that needs to be banned at all. I don't know for sure, but I don't think he would use an executive order to ban tampons. Because one, that just sounds preposterous to me. Because they're kind of a necessity. They're not a luxury at all. And I can tell you that from many, many years of experience. That there's nothing luxurious about having your period and needing to use a tampon. You might have seen... Trump is going to ban this for women. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, it's a good it's a very good thing to be a Democrat, to be honest with you. I mean, come on. It's hilarious. I mean it it is the best comedy ever. This is this is what happened when you live between the Democrat, you know, this this is the culture. I'll just say Trump and throw at the end of it anything you want. Trump is going to ban this. Like what? Trump, you wanna ban you ban you wanna ba ban it? Okay, and what women would do now, Trump? <laughs> is that against the global warming? <laughs> and they believe it, and they discuss it, and she have a long experience with it. <laughs> This Trump is evil. I have to be honest. You know, I mean, come on. Look what he is doing. Trump, he left China. He left uh, uh, ISIS. He left Al Qaeda. He left uh, everybody. And now he is focusing on this. This is a big problem in USA, by the way. You know what I mean? This is this is fake or real? No, those are real, my friend. Those are real. No, this guy is very well known. You know, he go and get them busted. They, they hate him actually. This is why he cannot monetize his videos because uh, you know YouTube is against him. Uh, <laughs> oh boy! That's so good, man. So good. What country is Mount Rushmore located in? I don't know. Are you American? <laughs> yeah. American. I'm going to have to revoke your citizenship. Okay. <laughs> Where is Trump Tower located? I don't know. You don't know? Uh, uh... Where's Donald Trump from? Where does he live? I don't know where he lives. Just generally, where does he live? I have no idea. Do you... I mean, we don't know where the White House. Come on, you know. I mean, do you know where the White House? Nobody knows where the White House, you know? I mean, it doesn't have an address. We don't know the location. We do not know the city. I mean, come on, how we know where Donald Trump he live? Nobody knows. That's impossible. Like, hello? What are you talking about? 
could tell Donald Trump something about your tampons, what would you say to him? <laughs> They're definitely a necessity. They're not uh, something that needs to be banned at all. I don't know for sure, but I don't think he would. Now look, I mean, they are serious. I mean, this is, let us go a little bit here, you know. Forget about this uh, women thing. Let us pass this one. <laughs> I find the most hilarious one is this one when she said, oh yeah, oh yes, oh yeah. <laughs> you might have seen the Donald Trump kids are big hunters. They go on these oh, hunting yes. trips to oh, yes. and yes. kill these poor animals. So yeah. now, yeah. just getting people's reactions to yeah. Donald Trump's kids now killing the Triceratops in Africa on yeah. a hunting expedition. <laughs> Okay, so honestly, my opinion is, I think... And look, she is squeezing her head now. We have to think about it. And you know, she put her hands around her waist. And now she is thinking deeply. And now, uh, uh, honestly, my opinion, that's getting serious now. I mean, you have to take, you have to put the dots on the knots. She is, look, see, she, uh, in, in the Middle East, when women, they put their hands around their waist, it means they are getting ready to fight. You know, they are like alarmed. So she put her hands around her waist with our respect to the women. And now she will give you her opinion. That is a deep thinking. Hmm. Oh, yes. Okay, so honestly, my opinion is I think they're just getting away with a lot for the simple fact that they're Donald Trump's children. Would an ordinary person. See, you guys. I told you, when you are Donald Trump children, you can get away with many things. <laughs> oh, that's it. I'm going to be Democrat tomorrow. You know. You remember I told you when I went for the election and the lady, she said to me, because I said I am Republican, you know, she wanted to show me what to do with the vote. Uh, so she said, but by the way, where are you from? You have an accent. I said, I am from the Middle East. I'm an Arab. She said, oh, really? The Arab usually uh, vote Democrat. I said, I am not stupid. <laughs> you should see her face. <laughs> Actually, I should not say what I said. I should say, oh, yeah, I'm not stupid. Like her, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> when I said to her, I'm not stupid, you should see her face. I mean, this woman, she is like, you put her inside like a, a, a pressure machine. Her, 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 her eyes would come out. Her face color change. She could not believe what she heard. In her face, I said, I am not stupid. Look who you are. I mean, how in the world you can be even called the smart for a second? Those are the ones who will vote for Joe Biden. By the way, why Joe Biden don't remember his name? Anyone knows? Because he is a genius. They are the same equality person be able to get away with killing a triceratops or is the Donald Trump's kids just being able to get away with that because they're Donald Trump's kids? I think they're getting away with it because they're Donald Trump's kids and I think anybody else would just get in trouble and they're honestly just, I don't know, with jail animal, time. Animal rights activists. Yeah, they'll they'll pay a fine for it and they'll, they'll serve their time in jail. And not this by the way, they are animal rights activists but they have no problem with killing babies. I mean, all those people who they are Democrat, they are animal rights activists, okay? Uh, do you eat a chicken? Are you all vegetarian? Do you have meat in the store in California? Do you eat fish? Do you eat shrimp? Hello? Animal rights activists, what a big fat liars. Everything you eat is about killing something else. Even when you eat a plant, the one who claimed to be vegetarian, when you eat a plant, you are killing a, a living thing. Because even plant, by the way, I mean, if you eat an apple, the apple is not meant to be eaten by you. 
there is a seed inside it. So what do you do now in California? You take the seed away. Actually, you manipulate the, 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 the fruits so they are seedless. So they are the one who is killing plants. And they kill animals. And yet they accuse us of being the harsh one. Okay. And for killing the triceratops, I think it's an endangered yeah. species in some countries. Yeah, and, and to agree, yeah, they are endangered species in, in some countries. Actually, they are. I saw them in the Middle East, by the way, you know. Uh, uh, like I remember we have one at, uh, at dinosaur, his name uh, uh, Al Qazafi, you know, and he's gone. We lost one of our dinosaur. The other, the other dinosaur, we lost him, his name is Saddam Hussein. And now we are like short of them. Those dinosaurs are became a, like an endangered species. And what the kids of Trump is doing is killing the dinosaur. You know, that's that's disgusting. I'm really ashamed of them. How in the world Trump he can be a president after now? Let us see more. Okay, let us let us move to to uh, other. Uh, Question, this guy is like, <laughs> yeah, it is not important for you, but just, you know, uh, uh, what Mark here is doing, he is showing you what kind of education the population of the Democrat, they have. Matt. It's all over social media. You probably saw Princess Diana uh, passed away this morning over in London, and we're just getting people's comments on the loss that they're facing. Uh, died of a heart attack. Wow, that's gnarly. Uh, Princess Diana, uh, gone at the age of 35. That's depressing. Now I'll keep her in my prayers. What's your favorite memory of Princess Diana? Um, it was gnarly that she was princess, <laughs> and that's cool. <laughs> you probably saw on the news that this morning the <laughs> she is a princess and that was as cool. <laughs> a very well-known woman who died many years ago. She died this morning, and they don't know what they are talking about. Very sad. She died this morning, Princess Diana. Hmm. Now look at this one. This one is even beyond. I don't know what to say. Uh, leave your comment. Hunters did capture uh, what, what they have called the Loch Ness Monster, Nessie. Really? We're they capture Nessie? Really? And look how she get alarmed, like, really? They capture Nessie? <laughs> Nessie, Nessie. What they capture? What? This is getting really complicated. I don't know, I'm getting dizzy here. Okay, let's see Nessie. You probably saw on the news that this morning the hunters did capture uh, what, what they have called the Loch Ness Monster, Nessie. Really? And we're, we're just asking people if mm -hmm. they think you, Nessie should be set free, is that really? Okay, let us show you an image of Nessie. <coughs> I want to be Democrat. I mean, I cannot resist. I cannot resist the temptation. I mean, how in the world you cannot refuse to be a part of the Democratic Party? It is the party of the gene, yes. Gene, yes. They have a gene. It says yes, as long as you are from them. The second you say you are from Trump's side, gene, no. So this is what they capture? They really captured it? Shit, it was free before? <laughs> uh, I want to move to California. I cannot wait to be a Californian. I mean, obviously, they have a super education system there.
Super, super. So, okay, what happened? What happened? Uh, start a little bit from the beginning. What happened? Saw on the news that this morning the hunters did capture uh, what, what they have called the Loch Ness Monster, Nessie. Really? And we're, we're just asking people if mm -hmm. they think you, Nessie should be set free. Is that really fair to to well, keep her in captivity like this? No, I think they should just let Nessie free. I mean, well, supposedly if they find her, like, that's messed up to keep an animal, like, captured. You probably didn't check the news. It's no, really, yeah, yeah, no. It's like, it's, yeah, I mean, there's occasionally the marine biologists will mm. find these old animals that have thought to have been extinct, and so they, they did capture the, the Loch Ness Monster, 17 foot long wow. platysaurus. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are saying, Monster 17 foot long. <laughs> Look how big the monster. <laughs> and that it's, it's really unfair to keep Nessie in captivity. Do you mm. think we should let her back into the wild? Yeah, yeah. I think because it's like, you know, animal rights. Like, it's the same thing as humans. Like, let them be free, you know? Because it's like not right, as I said, that to keep, you know, a special being, like a special uh, animal, like, hit, like keeping and like show them off to people it's like no let the animal be free and let you know other people enjoy the view and let, <laughs> let other people enjoy the view <laughs> i'm going to die from laughing this this gpt2 this is killing me it's getting hot here from laughing oh boy i mean you cannot you can, I, mean, I mean, do you need more reasoning to join Democrat Party? I mean, come on. If you are an American, my friend, it's time to join the Democrat. Those are the genius who can make America not only great again, they can make it great forever and be for free. <laughs> that you know let it be in nature basically so what's, what's your reaction to the discovery and the capture of... i'm actually surprised because i didn't even know it because i'm not from here so i never really watched it here. <laughs> she is not from here <laughs> this is remind me of two of my cousins arab cousins one of them he asked the other one do you see this moon the other cousin said to him, oh, I am not from here. So this is different moon. I don't know him. <laughs> what does this have to do with whether we are from here or not? <laughs> Your moon is different from our moon? So what what does this have to do? I am not really from here, so I don't know. What? Like, hello? Hello? Oh boy. The animal be free and let, you know, other people enjoy the view and let, you know, let it be in nature basically. So. What's, what's your reaction to the discovery and the capture? Of... I'm actually surprised because I didn't even know it because I'm not from here so I never really watched the, near, uh, the news and I'm, I'm just surprised that they found a uh, Loch Ness Monster but they should let the, They should I, let yeah. her go. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, that's what we thought too. Okay. Thank but you very yeah, much. You do you think that we should have nuked China last week, or do you think that we should have maybe taken them to the... Now listen to this one. He just told her that we did nuked China last week. We did what? Nuke, nuke. Nuclear weapon. The United Nations over their currency manipulation. Um, you think dropping those nuclear weapons over there was the right thing to do? I don't think so, but I don't really know the situation either. <laughs> you want to elaborate on that? I don't know what happened. Well, China has been manipulating their currency, uh -huh. and so we went and dropped a nuclear bomb on Shanghai last week in retaliation for that. You think that was inappropriate, or? I don't think that was right. Inappropriate. <laughs> There's nukes fall down in China, and she did not like. Uh, no, I don't know really what's happening. And I mean, isn't it obvious? I mean, how how how? I don't know. This is crazy. How in the world somebody use nuke 
and the whole world will be number one in news. I mean, everybody, they're crazy. This is the, this is the, actually, this will be the end of the of the world if if really it's happening. They are manipulating the currency, so we nuke them. We nuke Shanghai. Shanghai now is not Shanghai. It's Shang and saying hi. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't think we should do that. It's not appropriate, no? I think they should have just talked it out. Everybody comes talked together. Talked it out and before see. dropping the nuke on China last right. week. Mm -hmm. We should talk before we nuke them. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. I love California. I want to go there. Man, you know, no wonder I checked the map and I could not find uh, find Shanghai no more. You know, they changed the name. It says now Shanghai. It's not Shanghai. It used to be Shanghai. Because of the American, it became Shanghai. And I was wondering why they changed the name from Shanghai to Shanghai. Because Shanghai, I mean Shanghai, said bye-bye. Hmm? It's obvious, I mean, come on. What's wrong with you? Isn't it clear like the sun? By the way, if you, any of you is from Shanghai, say hello to Shanghai, okay? <laughs> uh, maybe I should stop playing those things. But here you see, let us now analyze <clears throat> why this is happening. You see, everything have a reason, you know? Everything have a reason. Since the propaganda of political correctness started, it's a propaganda, you know, it's a, it's a brainwash system to make you a fool, a liar, and say nothing except stupidity. We created a system in those states. We can say, I'm not saying me did it, I mean, it's they. <clears throat> who's behind it, that your child will go to school, he will not learn how to be smart, educated, he will learn how to be politically correct. Downia, or New York, is to teach you how to be politically correct. And when we say politically correct, which means official liar, nothing correct about it. Politically correct is somebody who don't say his mind, as he believe. He say what people want him to say, which means we created a society of hypocrisy. Children who have no education, as you see, and we created a bunch of generations which are so dumb to the point they believe anything they hear. And this is why, if you are from different country, I know there's many people here that are not from USA. You need to be aware of such a system, liberals. Liber liberals, they bring nothing except the stupidity to your generation. Never let them be your teachers. Never let them take over your schools, because this is where the whole damage start with the children. Those are children, they go, the first class, they start teaching them about history, about Guevara. Guevara, this guy is a criminal. He burned the Christians alive in the church. He killed thousands of people. And you'll see the bunch of fools around the world wearing a t-shirt have his picture. Why? Because the liberals, they told him, they told them that this is a revolutionary guy. Liberalism is another form of a snake called communist. They change their skin so they can go through the capital or capitalism, you know, countries. We cannot go there as communist. We call ourselves liberal. And slowly, slowly, we reach into the office and then we change the system. And then we will become 
the Soviet Union. You send your child <clears throat> thinking that you are sending him to school, but the school there they are in charge and they put in the head of your kid as they wish. And you will notice, actually I saw a study about how many conservative teachers are exist in liberal state. They filter them. The second you say something conservative, they kick you out. It's against our policy. The second you say something considered to be conservative, they kick you out as a teacher from their school. So in the beginning, they used to be conservative, like three to one, three conservative, one socialist or liberal. Then became two to two, then became three to one, then they became four to zero. They took over all the education system so they can guarantee that all the kids will be the coming generation of Stalin. When you see those Antifa going in the street, burning the flag of America, ask yourself, they are burning, excuse me, flag of who? I mean, aren't they American? No, they are not. You can't burn a flag of your country if you belong to this country. Obviously, they don't. When you see Obama saying, and the wife of Obama, Michelle Obama, she never been proud about being American until she became the, uh, the first lady. All her life she was ashamed of America. Why you were ashamed of America? Why? Do you have better life in a different place? She live in a mansion? Can you tell us where your money came from? How much money you made all your life? How suddenly you have a mansion? Where is the money coming from? Gifts from the kings of Saudi Arabia? From the prince of Qatar? How Hillary Clinton, she paid three million dollars for the wedding of her, of her daughter. Three million dollars. If you work for the government all your life, how much money you can save? In one night, three million dollars. And the funny, they are calling themselves socialist, and they want to be, uh, they, they like they hold the the, the the banner of justice, justice, the poor, you know, we the rich should pay tax, etc. Blah, blah 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 blah. And then you find that all of them they are billionaires. Why Obama don't give his bin his his you know hundreds of millions of dollars? Give it, give it to the black poor people. Why you live in a mansion? Can't you live in an apartment as, as long as you are a person who, uh, you know, who want to support uh, black people to have a better jobs, education? What about you donate all your money and keep what is enough? Don't worry, this guy, he have a salary until he die. And he has, uh, not only salary, he have a free cars, free security, free health insurance. Until the day he die and his, and his wife too. Both of them, they have the same equal. Obama right now, he don't use his own gas to drive in the road. It's a government gas. Now, he had tons of security guards paid by the government. Now, so why you need all this money? You do not need it. Your, your salary is guaranteed forever. Your housing is guaranteed forever. Your health insurance is guaranteed forever. So why you need all this money? Same for Billy Clinton, same all of them. This is not their money, it's a theft. When they start leaking the news about Hillary Clinton that she received donation from who? Libya, Morocco, Jordan, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, I mean, you name it. Why they are donating to Hillary Clinton? They are cousins, they are from the same religion, or this is an investment for tomorrow because supposedly she will become a president. It's a bribe.
you want Obama to walk like you? No, I'm not saying actually, it's not logical to say to walk like me, uh, because simply I, I, uh, you know, <laughs> I walk like Charlie Chaplin. Hello, I don't want him to walk like me. <laughs> no, I'm saying he have all what he need to guarantee his security for a lifetime. If I have guaranteed big salary for the rest of my life until I die, me and my wife, I have security, I have a car which is bulletproof, I have you know, a secret service, not only security, they don't, they don't have normal security, they have secret service accompanying them 24 hours, 7 days a week until they die. So why I need the millions? As long as I'm speaking about supporting the poor, give your money to the poor. Isn't the money because we need it? You don't need it now. You know what I mean? So if you don't need something, and you claim you are for something else that is exposing you, you know, uh, anyone will use a name of somebody else, I will block you. Don't do that. Go and do that in Muslim pages. We don't do this here. Uh, Trump, he had billions. Even he don't take his salary. His salary, which is paid by the government, he donated. He didn't want it. Nobody appreciated that. And the funny, he is the one, the accused, that he is for the rich, not for the poor. And they are the one who they are for the poor, but they are the one who take the money. I don't know how many uh, Americans there are here, but if you ask me, I will never ever join the party, it's called Democrat, because this is not a party, by the way. This is the party of a bunch of hippies who have no idea what they want. It's a hippie party. They don't know what they want. Their agenda is a stupid agenda. It's about just being politically correct. Color your hair, make it a blue or a green, put some earring in your nose, and that's it, you are a genius now. Those people, they will destroy America. Eight years of, uh, of uh, Obama, what happened to USA? Eight years. ISIS took over Syria and all of Iraq. Eight years. They flourish. $600 million sent to the terrorists in Syria. By who? By Obama. Which is making me believe that Democratic Party they have an evil plan to establish the caliphate, and exactly this is what happened. Why Obama, he did not stop Turkey from sending weapons and fighters to Syria, to ISIS. Did you ask yourself where ISIS were getting their tanks from, missiles? They have an army. They have literally weapon of an army. They don't have weapon of a militant group. They have weapon of army, tanks. All kind of weapon. Where they get the weapon from? And if you are telling me that CIA do not know, we will love because everyone knows. If, actually, even Joe Biden, by the way, he had a video of him in YouTube saying to you where the weapon and the money was coming from. Go watch it. Joe Biden, he is the one who said clearly that Saudi Arabia, Emirates, Bahrain, Qatar, Turkey, they were sponsoring ISIS. And the video is in YouTube. Eight years, what we have? We have hundreds of thousands of people being slaughtered, people being crucified, six slaves, 
we went back in the cave time because of Obama. Few months after, we have a Trump. ISIS was defeated. Our little dog got al Baghdadi busted. What they want? What exactly this party want? What exactly their agenda? You know, when when you see, uh, <clears throat> let me see if I can find uh, what her name is. Uh, what her name Cortez? Uh, anyone remember her full name? The 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 crazy uh, Congresswoman Cortez. What what her what her full name? Somebody remind me so I can search her tweet. She said in her Twitter, uh, billionaires need workers, not workers need billionaires. That's exactly what happened to Venezuela. Andres, yes, this woman obviously she has a mental issue. She is the fruit, she is a victim actually of being a child to grow up in uh, uh, you know in such a school system let me see if i can find the, the tweet so billionaires they need workers Workers don't need billionaire. Have you ever heard of such a stupid statement more than this? But the workers will not be working if there's no billionaire. <laughs> and the billionaires, they will not die hungry if the worker don't want them they can keep their money in the bank still they will make a lot of money or even stock market or buy gold or buy land you do not need to work so what they are doing they are pushing away the rich peoples here we go we found we found the tweet hold on When I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. Where is the tweet? Hold on. <clears throat> I click at the link. Okay. Tweet. Billionaires need walking class. Yeah, yeah let me show you the tweet because I cannot find the, the actual image, but this is here. When I click on it, it goes to a different place. So look what she said. Billionaires need working class. The working class does not need billionaire. And this is what happened in their states. All the billionaires, they are taking their money, fleeing their land, either to Texas or to Florida, to any, to any state, the liberals are not in control. New York, millions of people, they are out of job. Soon California will collapse. Just count my words. Because you see billionaires at the end of the day, they wanna make money. This is not about uh, right and wrong. Those people, they don't think, oh, you know, I wanna care for the poor. They don't care. They wanna make money. And money have no citizenship. If a war happened in any country in the world, the first people to flee is the billionaires. Why? Because it's so easy for them. All countries are willing to give them citizenship. All countries in the world right now, you can go check. Every country in the world, they have a program to give rich people citizenship in less than three months. Invest like Australia. Invest, uh, I don't know, $500,000. Switzerland, Canada, USA, 
You name it, all, all the rich countries in the world, even though they are very rich, yet if you invest, they give you citizenship in the speed of light. They are welcomed everywhere. So when you say we don't want billionaires, your country will collapse like Venezuela. Why Venezuela collapse? Because the government says we do not need the rich people, they are our enemies. Everybody flee. The money is gone. They are left with the dirt. They thought they can survive with the oil. The oil price collapse and the country collapse. You know, in the Middle East, there is an example of how uh, an economy can flourish if you are a little bit smart. As an example, Dubai. The prince of Dubai, he said to himself, and what I have in my country, I have nothing but dirt. Even the oil is not really enough. So what we will do? We will tell everybody that we have a country where tax is free. Come here. Make a business. We are in a very sensitive location. You can have your company. You can open it so easy, so fast. We will not put out tons of regulation against you. We will not tax you crazy, no, almost no tax. And have a business. And what happened? You go to Dubai, you find Indian billionaires, Iranian billionaires, American billionaires. Billionaires came from everywhere. The money of Dubai is not the money of Dubai, the money of the billionaires who went there to establish business, running away from taxation. Exactly, if you if you if you go to Turkey and you buy a house for seventy five thousand, imagine so seventy five thousand euro. Erdogan will give you citizenship. Why? Because the country is collapsing. They need money. Buy a house. Just buy a house. Don't open a business. Just buy a house. The 70, 75,000 euro. You became a Turkish citizen. See how easy it is. The Democrats, they are working in the opposite direction. They want all the billionaires who live in the USA to run away. And who is going to stay here? The poor me. And what I can do? I can open for you a manufacturer? No. I can give you a job? No. I have a guy, actually, he cut my grass, and I gave him the job only because he didn't know how to talk. He have like, you know, illness. I feel sorry for him. He come to my door. You know, I could not understand him what he's trying to say. And, you know, telling me, uh, you know, I understand that he's saying the grass. So I gave him, you know, I don't, okay, I'll give you $20. You cut my grass. But it's not really, I don't want to give him the $20. It's like a donation. But in the same time, it's not like, you know, I don't feel uh, bad. So... He don't even know how to cut the grass good. He hit my trees, he hit my plants. But I feel sorry for him. You know, he, he sounds a very nice guy, but and he's in, you know, he has some form of disability. What the poor people like us can do to you? They can build a manufacturer for you? No. They can give you health insurance? No. What you will do if those billionaires, they flee? You hate them, you like them, you don't like them, who cares? They have the money. And those people, wherever they go, wherever they go, they will live like kings. It doesn't matter where they go. Prime ministers will welcome them. Prince, princes, they will welcome them. If you go to and see like uh, the news of uh, the, 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 the royal family of England. Who is their friends? The billionaires. And why they friend them? Because they have money. Even royal family, they friend them, they don't friend you. 
When the last time you received an invitation from the Queen of England to come to her palace? If you go and see, the, what, what is the name of the guy he killed himself in jail? What his name? I forgot his name. They claim that he killed himself. I don't believe in this garbage. I believe they killed him, so he don't expose them more. More big names will be exposed. If you go and see the pictures of this guy, who is obviously doing sex business, you know, he's, he's sick. All those who they are his friends, they are princes, queens, kings, you name it. All of them, they are royal families. Why they friend him? Because he's a billionaire. He have island just for sex. He owned the whole island, just this island just for sex. This, this is nothing to do there except sex. Why they friend them? Why a prime minister of a country, he friend him? Because he had money. A lot of money. Even Trump, he had pictures with him. Money, my friend, money. Money. And anyone deny what money can do, he's a fool. And the funny is that liberals, they claim that they are anti billionaires but those who make the speeches themselves they are billionaires as an example i don't know uh, did you hear about uh, a prophet his name bill gate bill gate suddenly became a prophet he prophesied he prophesied about corona i mean what kind of a prophecy we have corona every few years this is nothing new the swine flu i mean this is kind of form of i mean it's just all is is a is, is a pandemic we have ebola i mean i can prophesy right now about, about things will happen but those are normal to happen they are not really prophecy and then suddenly bill gates is the one who can teach you what to do but you will notice that liberals they never attack bill gates for saying stupid things he's a genius because he is a rich and he is one of them and he donate a lot of money for them as long as you are one of them you are protected. If you are a billionaire who donate to Trump, they will humiliate you. They will go after you and they will fabricate cases against you too, if you live in New York, if you live in San Francisco. So I wanted today to share this uh, little time with you to show you how hypocrisy is our enemy. All of us around the world never vote for a president he is politically correct because the first thing he would do he would be politically correct with you too which means he will lie to you this is what politically correct mean you ask me what is my opinion i will not tell you my opinion i will tell you the opinion of the political correctness agenda it's a society of liars as simple as that the same as when they speak about race. Joe Biden, when he elected a woman, he called her women of color. That is racism. That is literally racism. It's against even the law. In the USA, if you hire somebody because of his ethnic, or because of his religion, or because, which means because you isolated that person from the rest who apply for the job, and you choose based on ethnic or religion, color, that is racism. And that's what he did. That is racism. You don't choose a woman just because she is a woman of color. That is racism. That means if you are a white, you are not qualified. If you are Asian, you are not. For them, the color they are talking about is to be black. This is racism. So they speak against racism, but they do racism. They are number one racist ever in this country. 
And if you go back to the history of the Democratic Party, you will see, there's tons of videos, by the way, made even by black people explaining to you how the Democratic Party was number one enemy to free the slaves. This is the truth. And the one who fought badly to free the slave was the Republican. This is the truth. Go and search. It will take you two seconds to search in YouTube and you will see reference history. This is not an opinion. So they hijack, the same as Muslims, they join Democrat right now. They are hijacking the wave of the liberals so they can reach into power. You see this uh, Somalian uh, congresswoman, she is dancing with the gay and the lesbian festival, but she is wearing hijab. And Islam teach a lot of hate against gays and lesbians. So how she says a Muslim, she's proud to be a Muslim. And then she's dancing with the gays and lesbians because she knew they are the one who made her a congresswoman. So they hijacked the wave. Actually, politically correct is very Islamic practice. It's called taqiyya. The name of political correctness in Islam is taqiyya. Taqiyya is protection. When you are weak, you say what you cannot do, which means something you don't believe in. You say, okay, you support gays and lesbians because that's taqiyya, to protection. Otherwise, you will be in trouble. So, Ilhan Omar and the liberals, they are perfect match together. Did you ask yourself how someone, she prays Muhammad, prays Allah, the man who says that gays should be slaughtered? She danced in a festival of the gays? How is that? And how come the Muslims are not outraged? Hmm? How come the Muslim say she's the Muslim for doing that? Because they knew she is doing taqiyya. It's okay. It's perfect, actually. I want to say to you to make it short if you are a person and you are an American for sure this is not for everybody but in the same time the message is the same for everybody if you have a democratic party like what we have in USA in your country never join such a party this is a party will cause death division and civil war actually if you see everything they are doing they are trying to create a civil war they are waiting until those who support the conservative lose their patient and carry arms. And then civil war will start. This is exactly what they are trying to destroy this country. We saw that just less than 24 hours ago. Where conservatives, for the first time, they cannot take it no more. And they went in a clash with Antifa. And trust me, those Antifa, they are no match to the conservative. They are no match in any mean. Conservative in USA, they are not easy cookie. If I say to you 99% of those who join USA Army are conservative Christian, you will not believe. I was in the army and I know what I'm talking about. I will never join such an evil party called Democrat. I will never vote for it. For voting for Democrat is the same as voting for the devil. The party of baby killers. How in the world a human being? He cried for seeing a cat being hurt, but he don't cry for his flesh in a baby in the toilet seat. They are so much in defending human animal rights, but they kill their own babies. Those kind of parties, they kill the human inside you. They make you just a propaganda machine. You repeat what you do not know. So we tell the children that Trump is racist, but nobody can tell me what he did. Trump is the wrong, what he did. He's the wrong guy. Even actually, they, they, they blame him for Corona.
It's like Muhammad blaming anything happening in this earth to the Jews. I will not be surprised if they claim that the hurricane is coming right now, tomorrow arriving to Louisiana and Texas, they will claim that this is because of a Trump. Trump Tower. Trump Tower direct the wind and make it go. Or, I mean, when you watch those videos and you see this conversation, I mean, why you will be surprised if, 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 if Mike dies now, go and ask them, do you think the hurricane which is coming now to Texas is because of a Trump Tower? They will say, yes, trust me. Even though they do not know most of them where is Trump Tower is located. Big hunters, they go on these oh, hunting yes. trips just for fun and yes. kill all these poor animals. So yeah. now, just getting people's reactions to Donald Trump's kids now killing the Triceratops in Africa yeah. on a hunting expedition. <laughs> Okay, so honestly, my opinion is I think they're just getting away with a lot for the simple fact that they're Donald Trump's children. Would an ordinary person be able to get away with killing a Triceratops or is the Donald Trump's kids just being able to get away with that because they're Donald Trump's kids? I think they're getting away with it because they're Donald Trump's kids and I think anybody else would just get in trouble and they're I mean, I mean, you tell me, don't you think this woman she, she should be teaching your children? I will not be surprised if she is a teacher in California, teaching your kids that the kids of Trump, tomorrow she will go to school and she will start talking about the children of kids, that the kids of Trump, they were killing dinosaur. And they got busted, you know, we have it, you know, it's a news, it's a news, brother. This is a Democrat. Uh, in, in my opinion, I mean, the woman, this lady, she is squeezing herself to get the opinion out. In my opinion, oh yes, oh yes, because they are kids of Trump, they are getting away with many things, like what? Michelle Obama to buy zucchini, she closed a street. Since when in America you close a street because you want to go to a store? This is, can happen only in Saddam Hussein land. In USA, you cannot close a street just because you are a president. To buy some zucchini. You might have seen the Donald Trump kids are big hunters. They go on these oh, hunting yes. trips just for fun and yes. kill all these poor animals. So yeah. now, just getting people's reactions to Donald Trump's kids now killing the Triceratops in Africa on yeah. a hunting expedition. Okay, so honestly, my opinion is I think they're just getting away with a lot for the simple fact that they're Donald Trump's children. Would an ordinary person be able to get away with killing a Triceratops or is the Donald Trump's kids just being able to get away with that because they're Donald Trump's kids? I think they're getting away with it because they're Donald Trump's And look now she is holding the microphone closer and she is more excited. Hmm? Especially after he jumped in the front of her to make her more excited like she got, oh, okay. So now let us go deep in this. How disgusting that Donald Trump kids, they are killing the dinosaur. I mean, that's not right. We have to be honest here. In my opinion, they should not get away with this. Like, hello? I will not be surprised if this guy, he go again and he says, what do you think about Donald Ivanka Trump? She killed a rat. And they will say, no, that's wrong. That's disgusting. Rats are human. They have the right to protect it. So everybody can enjoy the view. This is exactly what happened. The beast, which was killed Oh, sorry, which captured, captured in the lake. The beast was captured in the lake. I thought this is only a cartoon. Rumors. No, brother, they found him.
I don't know what to say. The only thing I can say, thank God, I am not Democrat. This guy, he told him that Diana, Princess Diana, she died today. He said, really? Oh, okay. Hmm. She died today. Hmm? What this guy is saying? Hmm. I don't read books, man. I'm pretty. I'm pretty stupid. Well, <laughs> thanks for demonstrating that. It's all over social media. You probably saw Princess Diana passed away this morning over in London, and we're just getting people's comments on the loss that they're facing. Uh, died of a heart attack. Wow, that's gnarly. Uh, Princess Diana. Uh, gone at the age of 35. That's disgusting. Now I'll keep her in my prayers. What's your favorite memory of Princess Diana? Um, it was gnarly that she was princess, and that's cool. Probably saw on the news that this the cool about Princess Diana that she was a princess. That's cool. I mean, that's deep. That's, I need to make a book about about that. What is cool about the Princess Diana? And right away, there's the book will have only one page. It's only that, like the index, all of everything. It says she was a princess. Thank you for reading my book. Don't forget to buy it again. I mean, you summarize everything. What is the cool about her that she is a princess? I mean, that's cool, and she died today. Where today? This woman, she died before YouTube was exist. And now we capture the beast in the lake. This morning, the hunters did capture uh, what, what they have called the Loch Ness Monster, Nessie. Really? And we're, we're just asking people if mm -hmm. they think you, Nessie should be set free. Is that really fair to to well, keep her in captivity like this? No, I think they should just let Nessie free. I mean, well, supposedly if they find her, like that's messed up to keep an animal like captured. You probably didn't check the news. It's no, really, yeah, yeah, no. It's like, it's, I mean, there's occasionally, the marine biologists will mm. find these old animals that have thought to have been extinct. And so they, they did capture the Loch Ness Monster, 17 foot long wow. platysaurus. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are saying that it's, it's really unfair to keep Nessie in captivity. Do you mm. think we should let her back into the wild? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think because it's like, you know, animal rights. Like, it's the same thing as humans. Like, let them be free, you know? Exactly. But it's like not right, as I said, that to keep, you know, a special being, like a special uh, animal, like, hit, like keeping and like show them off to people. It's like, no, let the animal be free and let, you know, other people enjoy the view and let you know, let it be in nature, basically. So. What's, what's your reaction to the discovery and the capture? Of... I'm actually surprised because I didn't even know it because I'm not from here, so I never really watched. Yeah, my, my friend, I'm not from here. The moon, the moon in your city is different than the moon in my city. I mean, did you even hear the logic? She is not from here. They capture the the they capture the, the the beast of the lake in, from the cartoon, from the movie. They capture it, it's there, you know? And now we should set it free. I mean, this is not even right. We have let everybody enjoy the view. And the, and the beast is what, 15 foot tall? I mean, that's huge. Man. I saw a commercial about Trump that he was bankrupt many times. But they forgot in the commercial they are saying that banks were giving him billions. Do you know what does that mean? If I bankrupt and then billions, they give me, the banks, they give me billions to borrow. That means my name is way more powerful than my bankruptcy. Because who want to borrow, who want to give money to someone who is bankrupt? Nobody. You're bankrupt. You're gone. That's it. You have zero. That is telling me that this guy is very successful. 
maybe he lost his money because of economy like now how many people they are losing their money i was watching a video actually youtube suggest for me videos and there was a video about uh, a guy uh, leaving uh, uh, philippine uh, the taxi driver he was waiting for five hours in front of the airport and finally he got his first passenger five hours so let us say you are a person who open a taxi company let us say you have money you bought let us say 100 uh, car and you hire drivers and corona came and then you go what you go you go bankruptcy you're paying salary you're paying insurance you're paying rent you're paying whatever going bankruptcy doesn't mean you are a bad person doesn't mean even you are not smart person after 9 11 many american airline they went almost bankruptcy but the government they support them they give them money so it's very silly and very stupid just to put this guy down it doesn't matter how we need to win the election we need to fabricate a lie about him so he lose we will do anything to make this person go away he is the nightmare he is destroying our dream of controlling America forever and look now Trump he made it so easy for Arab countries to join peace agreement with Israel imagine if this has happened and the one behind it is Obama oh they will they will be praising it amazing how smart how super intelligent he is how powerful and now Sudan Sudan soon will join and Bahrain will join and just wait all they will join they will claim if if a Trump I assure you if a Trump stay as a president for the coming four years no less than four to five Arab and Islamic countries they will have to sign a peace agreement with Israel for the necessity of their benefit Trump he knew how to play the game with those people and Trump in the coming four years he will be way will be more way powerful than Trump in the last four years I don't know if any of you understand why because he will not be worried about election again the weakness of any president in the, in Western countries is election if Trump he won this election Trump he will do things he never saw before already he did things we never actually it's impossible to think about it he forced the Chinese to sign agreement against their will he forced everybody actually to sign agreement with him so what he can do in the coming four years when there's no election to come that's it he have nothing to worry about him this is his last four years and Trump is going to use the ring of Solomon the Muslim they speak about he will use the magical ring and this is why they are in fear Trump he will demolish them he will change the rules of YouTube the rules of a Twitter who they are censoring the conservative censoring the Christians supporting terrorists supporting Democrats you go and search right now in Google you find only what Google agree with not what you are looking for why because they censor us my YouTube doesn't appear even in YouTube people don't receive notification when I go live they take our videos down I cannot even have videos on my channel I mean, have you ever heard of somebody making videos forever? I have thousands and thousands of videos. I cannot keep a video in my channel. This is why it's very important if you are a person who live in USA, regardless if you are a Christian or not, Trump will preserve your freedom. Those people, they want to take our weapon from us. 
And why they want to take your weapon from you? What is the excuse? Oh, people, people shoot each other. Go to Chicago, where people they are not allowed to have weapon, and see that the average of killing, because only criminals they can have weapon. The good citizen they don't. So what happened? A criminal he shot you. You cannot defend yourself. The highest crime ever exists in liberal states and cities, not in conservative. Let us say for the sake of argument, I am a bad person and I saw a woman alone on the street. I want to take advantage of her. Maybe I want to take uh, her, her purse or maybe even I, will, uh, I want to rape her. I'm a, that is a rapist like Muhammad. How, what is my guarantee she doesn't have a gun with her? Where I live, everybody have guns. You have to think twice, three times, four times. And not only that, people in that street, all of them, they have guns too. So you find yourself in the dead and your bomb will become like a screen door. Have one, like 100 holes in it if you try to be a criminal. For everybody have guns. If a criminal come to my house, what will happen to him? And you say, welcome, come in. Get in, just get in. Just come and, and I, I mean, you, you, you know, you can get in, but you will not get out if he's coming to kill me. Because everybody have guns. By taking the guns of the citizen, they guarantee that they are the only one in control. And exactly what happened in Iraq, like Saddam Hussein, like al Qazafi, like all the dictators. The liberals are dictators. They want to dictate even what to eat, what to drink what to say, what not to say, what to dress, even your gender, they are going to tell you what is your gender. I just saw Pelusi, Pelusi the turtle, she was saying, she, she pledged legion to fight domestic enemy, and who are they domestic enemy? Imagine they are making division to the point they are saying we are the enemies. But if we say the same, they say this is against our guide of uh, the guideline on YouTube. If I say the liberals and Democrats, they are our domestic enemy, they will take my video down. But their head, their boss, the turtle Pelusi, I don't know even what Pelusi means. She considers us the enemy. What does that mean? You want to kill us? Are you teaching violence? What do you want to do exactly? You are the domestic enemy. She considers us the same as Al Qaeda. So, if you are a, if you are a person who cares for your freedom, you are a Christian or not, you need. And you have no choice except to vote for Trump. You like him or not. And if you are a Christian, if you vote for Democrat, you are an antichrist. If you don't believe me, read the Bible. Read the Bible. This party stands for everything against Jesus. They are the one who posted a tweet says, take Jesus down. How you vote for them, you idiot. And yet you claim to be Christian. They are the one who burn churches, go and see the news. They are the one who burn the Bible. Why the Bible? Why, why not the Quran? What's wrong in the Bible? How you can vote for such a party? How you can claim to be a Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox? How you can claim that you worship the Messiah, yet you vote for those who hate him to death? Those who want to take the Bible from hotels. They want to take the cross down from every park, even from graveyards, they are getting offended. How you vote for them? If you do, you are a Christ enemy, literally, but undercover. You lie to yourself, you say, I'm a Catholic. You are not. Catholic people are pro-life. They don't approve anything that Democrat, they approve anything, you name it. From the top to the bottom. How you can claim to be a Protestant and you vote for those people? How you can claim to be Orthodox? How you can claim that you are a person who believes in Christ? 
yet you vote for people who they want to take him down. And by the way, good luck with taking Jesus down. Good luck. You see, the communists before you, they tried that for more than 70 years. And the day the communists collapsed, the churches was full in Russia. The same day, they thought they took Jesus down already. They thought Jesus disappeared from Russia. They closed the churches. They hide the Bibles. They burn them. They arrest the priest. They arrest the bishop. They arrest the believers. Anyone who speaks about Jesus, he will be under arrest immediately. And he must, he will be killed. 17, more than 70 years. And then the same day the communists collapse, our churches are full to the top. The same exactly what they are doing in China. They arrest the Christians, they destroy churches, and Christianity is growing so fast, faster than fire in a dry grass. Actually, for us, and this is my experience, that discrimination make us better Christians. Actually, me, myself, if I'm not born in the Middle East, I don't think I will be who I am now. Discrimination make us better. Make us warriors. So if you think you can kill Jesus inside us, good luck. I will never vote for Democrat. I will never vote for liberals. In fact, they make me sick. And we are here to save them. We don't want to hate them. Jesus said, I came to the sick one, not to the healthy. And this is exactly what I see with this sad society. Hippies. And they have no happiness. That's why most of them, they die from drugs. They took the Bible from the teaching in school. They took God from the school. And what we end? We end with people committing suicide. We end with people taking overdose. We end with people spending their day working like crazy to buy some drugs. And then they die alone. Number one death in USA is not Corona. It is drugs. And yet they want open borders so the cartel, the drug dealers, they will bring billions of drugs value to kill our children. This is not because they are fighting for freedom, but because the cartel is funding them. Did you ask yourself who is the one getting benefit from having a war? Or not having a war? Do you think the cartel, the drug dealers who own billions, I mean, if you, if you know how much money those people they have, you will not believe it. They can buy a cover. There's, there's, there's a videos on YouTube about the cartel armies, they have armies, they have tanks, they have missiles, they have thousands and thousands of soldiers. They challenge the government to come to their, their territory. Government cannot even go there. Building the wall is a big fight with the cartel. The Democrat, they want to take it down. And that is telling us where the money of Obama came from. Where is the money of Pelosi coming from? Where is the money of those people coming from? Are you going to be surprised if you learn later that the cartel is funding them? And we are talking about billions of dollars. Human trafficking, women rape, children abuse and rape. This is what the borders is. Those poor people who they are coming for work, for better life. They use them, they abuse them, they enslave them. The same what happened to those poor Africans in, in Libya. Coming from Ethiopia, Eritrea, they want to go to Europe. They capture them in Libya. They put them in a camp. They rape the women. They enslave men for labor. Six, seven, eight years you are working as a slave in Libya in a camp. They take you out only to cut rocks or to build, and then they bring you back to prison. Obama never moved his finger to free them. 
all of them they are coward and liars and they are partners with the cartel of drugs and this is why they are against the war if you ask Pelusi, if we search now for Pelusi uh, Villa did you notice how high the gate is? <laughs> how come she don't want I saw a video, let me see if I can find it How come they don't want walls? But around their houses, they have securities, they have fence, they have guards. How come they are against the police, but they don't walk with, with the, without the police? How come if you get close to their wall, the police right away will come and arrest you. How come she is for the poor, but her, the garden of her villa alone is enough to build a city? Those are a bunch of conservative Mexican. Mexican, they came to her yard. What happened? Get them arrested. So she wants the Mexican to be in the borders, but she doesn't want them to be in her yard. You see how hypocrite they are? She claimed that she loved the Mexican, but as long as they are not in her house. Don't get close to my house. I will call the police for you. And that's what she did. I don't know if you saw this video, you can search it. It's called, I think, Illegal Aliens Storm Nancy Pelosi Home. <laughs> Illegal Aliens Storm Nancy Pelosi Home. To show you the hypocrisy of those garbage people, Nancy Pelosi and the garbage, she claimed that she supports them, but when they come to her home, she don't want them. That is a reality. Take it or leave it. No makeup. No black and white. That is the truth. Oh, we love, uh, you know, she loves Mexican. If people are equal, but don't come to my house. Uh, Trump is racist. He put ban on the Muslims. The one who put the ban, it was uh, it, it was Obama. And it was not on the Muslims. It was a certain countries have war. Otherwise, why we still have Muslims coming to this country? <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean... They wanna, you know, they remind me of how one, one Muslim Muhammad and they try to bully me. They try to smear me, you know, so they fabricate stories about me. This is exactly what they do with the Trump. They are bully. Democrat, they are the party of the bully. What do you think about Trump will do with Erdogan? I hope he will, he will after the election, Erdogan now is playing as he wish because he knew Trump, he cannot do anything anyway, for he is, he cannot create any problem. He have enough problems before the election. I hope after the election he will do something about this Erdogan. However, if you want to do something against Erdogan, you have to strengthen your country. Those people there, Erdogan and his gang, they don't respect you unless you are more strong. As simple as that. They don't respect, but they fear. So if they have nothing to fear, they will eat you alive. So Greek people, they have to strengthen their army. 
If you depend on USA to protect you, you are a fool. If you depend on Israel to protect you, you are a fool. If you depend on Germany, they will not. You have to be powerful in order to be respected. Otherwise, Turkey is going to swallow Greece, the same as they swallow a cake, the same as they did to Cyrus before. And Europe was watching, and USA was watching. Never depend your security in someone else. Why I have guns at home? There's police. I'm not a fool. By the time the police will come to my house, I will be dead. Right? In the case of Greece, there is no police anyway. There's a big fish, a small fish. The big fish want to eat the small fish. As simple as that. So instead of Greek people, they are busy opening a restaurant about how to make salad. What about making manufacturer to make weapon and get ready so the enemy will respect them and never get close to their borders? They knew that this enemy is exists there for centuries and is willing to eat them any time they could. And they are not doing anything about it. They are waiting for him to come to eat them. So I don't blame him, I blame you for not defending yourself, my friend. Nobody will defend you. If you trust, if you wait for others to defend you, good luck with that. Greece is bigger than Israel. Population, land, even resource. How can Greece is not powerful the same as Israel? Do Erdogan dare even to wave his finger toward Israel? He don't. Learn, my friend, learn. Why Israel is surviving in the middle of the Middle East, where all is enemy around? Is that because they love it? Is that because Egypt loves Israel? Or Jordan? Or Syria? Or Iraq? Or Saudi Arabia? No. Your army, your power, is the key. And Greece need to you know to, to remember. And you know I find it always funny how the Christian countries in Europe always they take the wrong side. And this is the example: Greece they jo join European Union. Okay, what this union is about? This union is a piece of garbage. Here we go. Turkey is a threat in Greece, and what union is doing? Let us negotiate. Sit down. Sit down. Let us negotiate. So they don't have an army to defend Europe. So what this union is about, how, how you can call it union, and there's a country, Erdogan, he understands very well that this union, is, this union is a, excuse my language, it's a piece of shit. It's an union for business only. When you die, you die alone. He understands very well. If Erdogan, he knew for a second that all European Union would be his enemy if a war erupt, he would never even dare to threat Greece. But because he knew that Germany don't care, Italy don't care, all of them they don't care. So why he will be worried? They have the wrong friends. If I am a Greek Prime Minister, I will bring the bear to one of my islands. His name is Putin. And then you will see how Erdogan will become like a puppy. Hmm? Sign an agreement with Putin. I will give you a marine land for your army in the same island Erdogan is trying to occupy. Let us see if Erdogan can get close to it. It's going to be protected for the cannon 99 years. You have 99 years to prepare your army, Greece, if you get put in there. Never get the American. The American will not protect you. Look what happened with Georgia. Look what happened with Ukraine. They don't protect anyone. Learn. Educate yourself. Look what happened in Russia. The Assad, he asked the Russian, he told them, okay, this is the land for you. Build your base. Protect me. They are protecting him.
they stood against everybody. They demolished ISIS in Syria. They demolished Al-Qaeda and they spanked Erdogan as never before. Never wait for protection, my friend. Be smart, get ready. Otherwise, they will eat you alive. Uh, anyway, I think we have enough for today. Feel free to download this video. I'm not going to keep it for long. As you know, I don't keep my videos because YouTube love me. And I love them for sure, too. You know? <laughs> because they love me and I love them. So we cannot separate from each other. You know, uh, and their guideline is very lovely. Their guideline only wake up when we speak the truth. Their guideline is not exist for other people. If you are a Christian, all the guideline of YouTube is active. Anything you say is against you. You're a bad person. Disgusting. So, download the video, share it with your friends. And again, if you like, always to join us because we change the channel where we go live. It's very simple, very easy. As you see, we have a banner in the screen showing you like patreon.com. This one, I post always my last link. We have Instagram. I make short video before I go live. We have minds.com. And we have Facebook. You can always join us and subscribe to Facebook. Um, so you can be notified when we are going live all right so i want to say thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you and feel free to download the video as soon as it's possible otherwise i'm going to delete it as soon as possible too thank you may the bless you and see you soon again take care bye, -bye.